Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Dildier Media, and today I'm going to be talking about what RT school should you go to. I've had a lot of comments in my videos asking me if community college is better or if going to like a, a technical school is better. So I feel like I'll make a video to address that whole thing. So me personally, I started off going to a community college. It was very difficult to get in because they had a wait list and sometimes it took two, three years just to get into the community college. So I had all my prereqs done. It looked like I had to wait another year and a half just to be able to apply to the program again. So I ended up going to a technical school. Uh, the school I went to is called uh, San Joaquin Valley College. I think they have a few of them around the California area. And you pay a lot of money, but you kind of get a really good experience. You kind of get a really good uh, skill set at the school. So I ended up going that route and I graduated before I would have at the community college. Although it was pretty expensive, I pretty much was able to pay it off relatively quickly. So if you're trying to make that decision, these are the things you should look for. So the first thing you should look for in your state is whether a technical school is accredited. Overall, which one's better? I think they're both equally pretty good. You're kind of going to get the skill set you need at a community college and at a technical school. The technical schools are always a lot more expensive. If you're going to a community college or a junior college, you're probably going to end up spending anywhere from five to $10,000 of your money. If you go to a private school, it's going to be about 40 to $60,000 of your own money. There are some schools in some states that are a lot cheaper, but overall you're still going to be paying a, a big premium just to get that degree. So the first consideration I'd make if I was in your situation is see if that school is accredited. Now, if that school is accredited, then that's a good thing. Uh, what happens is then you're going to be recognized in the whole nation and you could actually eventually go on and get a bachelor's degree if you want to, or even change your degree with that degree that you're going to get. The second thing I would do is I would consider how much it's going to cost. So let's say you're going to be working in a place like Alabama. The pay is not going to be too high there. I think you're going to be getting anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars an hour. Now, if the school there costs $60,000, it's gonna take you a really long time to pay that off. In that situation, I much rather, it'd be much better to go to a community college so you can get a much cheaper uh, degree. So let's say, let's take another example. Let's say you live really far away, you're in a rural area and you're about an hour away from the closest community college, but you're about 10 minutes away from a technical school. In that situation, it's probably gonna be much more easy on you for the next two years to go to the technical school. Even though it might be more expensive, at least you could probably get a local job somewhere and start paying it off while you're in school. Now, in terms of the actual things you learn in both of them, what they tend to do in these technical schools is because they're so expensive, they kind of whittle out some of the unnecessary things. So you do learn the core values that you need as an RT. And a lot of the people I know that went to private schools are very qualified, they know their stuff, they're pretty good at what they do, if not very, very good at what they do. And they did not need to go to a community college. They learned everything the same that a community college teaches. With that being said though, there are some people that went to the private route and it almost feels like they paid for their degree. So they have those people. Now those people eventually don't last long in the industry. Uh, after a few years, they can't really pick up the skills they kind of paid their way through school and their skill set shows and they usually don't last too long in the profession. They end up working somewhere else or teaching or something else. So if that's something that you're worried about, you're going to get the skill set you need at the technical private school. Now, another thing you should consider is that uh, if you know any RTs in your area and the RTs in that area have went to a specific route. So let's say you work in a hospital where 80% of the people went to a community college and only 20% went down the private route to private schools. That's probably a good indicator that the private school system there is not a good system. And if you can, if you have an opportunity, talk to them, ask them. It's probably better for you to go where everybody else is going. Where the majority of people will go, they'll have the best skills that they could teach because they'll have a lot more people going through them and they'll constantly be upgrading and changing their curriculum. So if that's the situation for you and everybody you know went down a community college route and you're looking into going to a private school, probably consider going down the same route as everybody else. 
In this situation, you do want to go where everybody else is going because everybody's going to have the same level of education. And if you're the only one that went down a different route, you might be struggling and you might need to spend extra time catching up to everybody else. Overall, you're going to get the same level of education. If the school's accredited, if it's, if it's recognized by the government, if it's recognized by the NBRC and AARC, then you're overall going to be pretty good at the school. It kind of matters what you learn on the job anyways. So let's say you learn some pretty bad skill sets in a school that wasn't the best, but when you start working, that's when it really matters. That's when you learn most of your stuff. But what I would say matters is this, watch out for the loans that they give you. So a lot of these private schools will give you kind of tricky loans that are gonna be really high interest rates. If they're offering you a really high interest rate to go to a school that you could also go for at a community college for free, watch out for that. Talk to someone that knows finances, talk to someone that knows about student loans. It's going to take a long time to pay off a loan that's at a 10% interest rate or whatever it is. If they're offering you a loan to get through the expensive private route, look at the fine print, see what your interest rates are, do an actual calculation. This is something that you're going to have to hold on to for a few years, uh, if not 10 years, 20 years. I do know people that are still paying off student loan debts that are 10 years old, loans that are even older than 10 years. So you do wanna watch the fine print. You do wanna make sure that you have a good plan. If you can't talk to a financial consultant or somebody that knows finances in your life, consult with them, map out how much you're gonna be paying and see how long it's gonna take you to pay off the loan. If that's something that's gonna take a long time for you to pay off or it's gonna be a big burden on you, just go down the college route. It's gonna be a lot cheaper it will take a lot of time, but after those three, four years, you're pretty much solid and you're starting at zero as opposed to starting at negative 50,000. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Have a great day.